Honorable Speaker, I have had the privilege and the honor bestowed on me by the great people of Kikuyu to serve them for the last two terms as their member of parliament. And I must indeed say, Honorable Speaker, unlike what the Honorable Kilonzo is saying, I am proud that I have voted to articulate issues both in the House and in political rallies. And I want to encourage those who shout in political rallies, please continue doing so because it is important. Also articulate the issues that you articulate on the floor of the House because that is where, again, you come and articulate issues representing your people. Honorable Speaker, I am honored to have served with very many members of this House, some for the first time and others that we served in the 11th Parliament with, and I want to wish all of them the very best as they embark on their campaigns. However, Honorable Speaker, I have a disturbing uh, episode that I have seen in this Parliament, unlike in the 11th Parliament when I first joined in Parliament. After the handshake, Honorable Speaker, this House regrettably became like a marketplace. People never allowed other people to articulate their issues and to say what they want to say without shouting them down. And it is sad that we come to a house where you call yourselves honorable men and ladies, but we cannot have the patience to listen to each other. How I pray that in the next parliament, we will have the patience to listen to each other, allow your colleagues to articulate their issues and you have your opportunity for a rebuttal on anything that they say that does not please you. Honorable Speaker, as you can see, I'm in a very yellow shirt and I must announce it is a mtumba shirt. Honorable Speaker, even the coat I'm wearing and the tie and even the trousers, I'm mtumba shirts, trousers and they're all nice clothes and I believe I'm looking very smart today in this mtumba outfit. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, even as we say, don't insult others. And I am on record, Honorable Speaker, I have had tremendous respect for the former Prime Minister. And as vehemently as I have opposed his policies and his political persuasions, I have never insulted him. And I will never insult the former Prime Minister. Neither will I ever insult Uhuru Kenyatta as the President of the Republic of Kenya or even him as a person but I will criticize them. I will tell them the truth as it is. And for those that believe they are gods, I will tell them that I only believe in one God Almighty. I will never worship a man. And I can never, and no Kenyan will ever worship another man. Therefore, even for our leaders, let us also have that heart to be understanding to our people that our people do not wear mtumba because they like wearing the clothes of the dead people, as you are telling us. They wear mtumba because you have captured our state. You have strangled our economy, strangulated Kenyans to an extent that they cannot afford the designer clothes that you wear. Today, I decided to wear mtumba clothes in solidarity with the people of Kenya who are being insulted. The people of Kenya who are being insulted for what they wear. But I want to ask the people of Kenya on the 9th of August, remember those who care about you. Remember those who care about your economy, those who care about your families and your livelihoods, those who want to build your economy from the bottom up. And with those few remarks, Honorable Speaker, because I can see time is passing, I want to promise the people of Kikuyu that, as I have said, Kazi Iyonge. And as we say where I come from, we are here saying I am proud of what I've been able to achieve as a member of parliament, even as I ask them to give me a third sum to continue serving them and serving the great people of Kenya in this parliament. To Bunga Lijao.